I've started a new series for beginners where I explain how to piece control, but we've only been going over drills and creative. What about in actual games? So today I'm gonna to be breaking down some of my fights from last week's solo cash cup. We're starting with the opens here. This was my second game and I had a bad first game, so I'm looking to take a couple fights. I hear this guy on the zip line, so I immediately look for a fry, but I don't deal that much damage. Nonetheless, we're fighting him. I immediately make sure I'm blocking my angles as I'm building up here. You see how I build these high walls with a ramp over my head? None of my angles are open, except for the right side, but nobody's over there. Then I immediately look to get pressure on and I'm hugging this wall as a right hand peek. If you made a peek, I could just duck behind this wall and I'd be perfectly uncovered. I immediately go for the wall take because when he's sitting in one box, that's a perfect opportunity to go for a wall. I get the wall, get a health advantage with a nice right hand peek and immediately look to piece control out his right side. Usually when you get a wall in front of the enemy, they're gonna try to reposition. He didn't go for it, so I just zip line in his box, get more of a health advantage and then finish it with a wall take on low ground. I opened up a wide edit to finish the fight, but I had a major health advantage. It didn't even matter. This fight here, I was able to sneak on this guy and got a big health advantage. I immediately go for some peace control on him, but I missed the walls around him and he got out. So I immediately looked to peace control his side so he has less escapes, but he went upwards. Now right here, when I'm pushing up to him, I need to make sure I'm blocking my angles and I don't give him a chance to counter damage. That's why I built those high walls there. I'm pressuring him from pretty far away and behind a right hand peek here. I'm trying to keep the pressure on enough so he can't get heals off. He drops down here so I go for this wall. If he edits on me, I can jump back up because he can't place a cone over me because of the roof of the building. I managed to get the wall in front of him, got a shot off, and then he was backing up so I wanted to go for that far wall in front of him. As soon as I saw I got the far wall, it was over. I just had to edit that bad boy and finish it. The biggest thing about those awkward building fights is blocking your angles so he can't do counter damage. Later in the game here, I was rotating in and saw a guy popping berries and my scar just failed. I only did 60 damage. Nonetheless, I take this fight. I went for a play from above because he wasn't blocking that angle. Now right here, I drop on his wall and go for a double pickaxe. Usually you don't want to do this. You want to be off to the side so that he can't box you. But this guy was definitely panicking. So that's the only reason I did it here. But as soon as I don't get his wall, I back up because I know he's going to edit. And I set up a right hand peek from a box away. Sure enough, I got the health advantage and then I used this wall and ramp next to me to phase in and finish the fight. Pretty easy one there, that guy was panicking. Now this fight here was right after I got a win, so we are in the tougher lobbies. But I started this fight with a major health advantage. I wasn't even really looking to fight here, but if you get a health advantage that big, you should push. I'm pushing from above and I go for the cone and after I get the cone, I place a wall in front of me and start spraying through a window. You want to claim that wall because if you don't, the enemy could edit up on you and place that wall and then they have peace control on you. My main goal is keep pressure up with this scar so he can't get heals off. He's making boxes away, but I make sure to spray the wall that I think he's in before he can get heals off, just so he feels the pressure still. Even though I'm not there, it's a good thing to do. That's literally what I did the entire fight. I just kept spraying the box I thought he was in, and then eventually here, he gets caught in his splash animation. You can't cancel the splashes after you start, so I was able to get that kill just for free. But the main thing to note is I kept the pressure on with the scar, like crazy. This fight was so scary. I didn't even think there was anyone around me and all of a sudden someone's in my box. After I hit him for 100 and get the ramp over top of him, I just edit out and set up a nice right hand peek. A lot of people after getting that health advantage will just edit straight down, but it's good to be cautious. As soon as I get that shot from the outside, I build around me to block my angles because people are always going to spray a fight in endgame. Now last fight from the opens, this one is actually against a pro. So this is early in the game, neither of us have a lot of mats. So what I do is I make space on my lair. I leave the walls open to tempt him to drop down and try to claim the wall. I'm paying close attention to which wall he's going to drop on and then I place it before he can, edit a window, place a cone above him, and I get in his box and finish the fight. That's a little sneak play, it's risky, but I go for it a lot. Leave a wall open, when they drop for it, try to get it before them. But you have to spot which wall they're going to before they get there, otherwise you're done. Now we're moving on to the finals fights. These are gonna be a lot more intense. This first fight, I'm pressuring so safely. At first, I start pressuring his tops here, but I make sure to block my angles with walls. He could have double edited up through this floor and cone, so I place a wall there. I'm also prepared for him to edit this floor, and as soon as he does, I place a ramp in his box. He ends up repositioning, and I start pressuring his top again. Now, this here is why you always wanna place a wall in front of you. I went to place it, but he beat me to it. When he gets that wall, he can make a play on me. But I was able to flip my cone up to block any potential shots. Now we reposition the 
fight again. Same situation, I place a wall and I'm pressuring the top from behind the wall. He edits just like before. Now this time he has nothing in his box, so after I break this floor, I place a ramp in his box, and then I look to pre-box underneath him. But I saw he was just sitting in this box, so I go for a wall take, and I managed to get a crack. This game I had the zero chance perk, so I look to phase in with the zero chance. It took a couple tries, but eventually I got in. All you gotta do is zero chance teleport at the same time as you break his build, and you'll go right through it. Next fight, I managed to sneak up on this guy and get a big fry on him. I immediately push forward and build cones to block my angle because it looked like he was about to take a shot. I build walls through my cone to get peace control on a layer above, and he actually walked on top of my cone and I had him boxed here. I didn't even realize it at first, but as soon as I did, I took a shot and managed to get that kill. Later that same game, I managed to get a fry on this guy and I'm pushing forward. Seems like he's panicking, so I just apply pressure with the pistol. I see he's in the center of his box with no cone in his box. So while I pressure his floor, I also go to build a cone. Because he's in the center of the box, the cone would have forced him out the floor. This guy, like in a previous fight, was trapped in the splash animation and I managed to get him cracked here. After I get him cracked, he just keeps on making boxes, keeps on making space, and I'm just trying to keep the pressure on. I'm trying to find the right wall to pressure, you know? I'm trying to find the one that he's in. Eventually I find him, I take the wall, but he drops down to low ground and I shoot him through this tiny crack here. After I get him cracked again, I just try to find which box he's in, because he's making more boxes. Once I finally find him, I apply pressure with the pistol again, and this is where he finally starts to fight back. He caught me off guard here, but he missed his shot. I saw him going up a layer, so I make sure to block my top with a ramp here, and then I go for the this edit course play. Basically all I did here was go out the side and did a 180 to claim the wall in front of him, but I did it while blocking my angles the whole entire way. That's the point of an edit course. Once I cracked him again, he goes up a layer, but he has nothing in his box once again, so I break the wall, place a ramp in his box, and that forces him to reposition again. I get on his wall and I know he's looking for counter damage because he did it earlier. So before he can take a shot here, I build a wall to protect myself. I see in his box he placed a ramp backwards and so I know he's repositioning into that other box. This is where I finally get him trapped. He's stuck on top of his ramp and the wall in between us is one shot. In this situation, you always wanna just phase in. By jumping with a ramp behind you, hitting the wall as soon as you hit the top, you'll phase right in. If you've never done that phase trick before, it takes a little practice, but it's a good way to get in the end fights. And the reason I could phase in there is because I knew he was one shot. Anyways, next fight, I get a health advantage and I end up pushing up here. Here he makes two boxes and he doesn't have a wall in between. So I break the floor above and I look to claim that wall in the middle of the two boxes. Once I get that wall, I just have to double edit downwards. I see him going out the side, so I race to get that wall before he does. Once I get it, I place a cone in his box and I hit a max pump here. It was a bit of a risky play because he shot me at the same time I shot him. I just hit the heavier shot here. Last fight, at the start of this, I got cracked and I have everything I need to win this game. So I'm just making a ton of boxes. I'm trying to let this guy know I don't wanna fight and if you try to fight me, I'm gonna grief your game. If you make four boxes, you can just reposition between the boxes and take peeks. So like right here, he's pressuring that wall, I go to the opposite side of the boxes and set up a peek from far away. Most people would disengage from this fight when they see I'm doing this strat, but the only issue is this guy was stream sniping and he wasn't gonna let the fight go. So I played my boxes for as long as possible. This fight went on for four minutes and now I have literally no mats and literally no heals. So I had to go for a really aggressive play or my game was over. He was lurking out this side, so I make a box in that direction and set up a right hand peek. He didn't expect me to go on the aggressive because I had been playing defensive this whole time. After hitting that right hand peak, I have the health advantage so I get aggressive. I have this ramp and wall in front of him so I edit course through the ramp and wall and place walls around him and then take a max pump. Pretty simple play but I caught him off guard because I was playing defensive for so long. I hope this video helps you guys out. Let me know if you want me to do this again in the future. More content coming soon. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.